As I mentioned earlier, you can visit the Monroe County Sheriff's Animal Farm the second and fourth Sunday of every month. Now they have everything from sloths to albino pythons to prairie dogs, which I'll be introducing you to this morning. Jeannie, thank you so much for being on and bringing a guest with you today. You're <laughs> always welcome. I'm glad to be able to be here. And oh. Today I brought Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly, I like that. Which is a black-tailed prairie dog. Okay. And prairie dogs are common out west, mostly found west of the Mississippi mm -hmm. in the United States. And they typically are considered a nuisance because they're a rodent. Mm -hmm. So what they'll do is they gas them out of their holes and sell them when they're little. So we received three prairie dogs in February of last year, and I remember telling you how aggressive they were and how mm -hmm. I was not sure I'd ever even be able to handle them, but I've been working with them for a year, and since they were not pet shop raised, they didn't have that handling when they were young, and the people that had them just couldn't handle them anymore. They said one bit the wife, one bit the dog, and they decided before the kids got bitten that it was time to find them a new home. Mm -hmm. So I was their last resort. Everywhere else they had spoken to said they would end up as snake food because they were very aggressive. Oh, yeah. But the two girls I am able to handle, this is one of the girls, and the male is still aggressive. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't hold him and cuddle him like this. Yeah, you're doing awesome with Jelly she's, Belly. She's doing pretty good so far. <laughs> and what, how long do prairie dogs live for? Um, I'm not exactly sure. I didn't... I, I want to say seven to ten years, but mm -hmm. I'm not positive on what their lifespan is. Okay. You know, I think this is one of the first prairie dogs that I've probably seen, Jeannie. Really? Because I, I don't know. Like you mentioned, they're out west, mm -hmm. so, and that's their primary location? Yeah, out west and yeah. in Texas. I've never seen them in the wild. I've seen mm -hmm. them in zoos before, mm -hmm. but people say when you go out to the prairie and the grass plains that you'll see them, they pop up out of their little holes and mm -hmm. they bark. So that's where they get the name prairie dog. They, okay. they make a bark to warn the other prairie dogs that something's happening or there's danger. Okay, yeah, because so. they don't look at all like dogs, so I didn't <laughs> no, understand where that is. They're basically a ground squirrel. Okay. That, that would be the best way to describe them. They're mm -hmm. just a ground squirrel. They just don't have that tail like the squirrels, the bushy tail like the squirrels have. Great. Now, if people come out to the farm, Jeannie, can they touch the prairie dogs, or will they not allow people to touch them? I don't let them? them. They have to really bond with mm -hmm. whomever they're used to handling them, and mm -hmm. so I've bonded with them. That's why they let me hold them. Mm -hmm. And when they greet, they greet with their teeth. Uh, so you have to hold your hand out, and when I first started learning about them and understanding why she opened her mouth with her teeth out whenever I would put my hand toward her, mm -hmm. that's nerve-wracking when you're not sure oh, yeah. so it took me a while to realize that's how she greets so whenever she greets me I hold my hand out and she opens her teeth and that's how they greet each other wow tooth to tooth that's but not so a very I don't nice greeting <laughs> well it's, it is nice it's just you don't we're used to things biting when they do that so right, you don't expect right. it mm -hmm. but they like to dig they dig tunnels and they live in the tunnels and then they have the little holes that they pop up out of so um, we, I don't let people handle her or mm -hmm. touch the prairie dogs because I just, I've bonded with them, but I don't want anybody to get nipped. Mm -hmm. So I take them to community events and put them in a little cage where the kids watch them dig mm -hmm. and they eat, they tear up cardboard and paper and everything. So they're fun to watch. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of little antics that they do. So Jeannie, you are so great with all the animals. Every animal <laughs> that you have brought on this show, you have something about your touch, I guess, that I makes don't these know. animals just... Just be so good. <laughs> They're not no. <laughs> Don't speak too soon. <laughs> now, do you have some other new additions at the farm, Jeannie? Well, or? we don't have any new animals lately. Actually, mm -hmm. I don't know when I came to see you last, but in November, we had a new baby sloth born. And mm -hmm. I actually don't think I have been here to tell you that. But mm -hmm. our baby sloth is almost seven months old, mm -hmm. and people are starting to come see her now. Her name's Maddie, mm -hmm. and I'm actually taking her out on weekends on Farm Open House for people to see her. And then I have a brand new horse trailer, which mm -hmm. is really exciting. It just arrived last night. Mm -hmm. It's okay, girl. And, uh, and we have a new trailer so that we can take all the animals to community events. Well, great. Well, Jeannie, yes. thank you so much for You're being welcome. on this morning, bringing <laughs> Jelly Belly with you. And again, check out the Animals Farm the second and fourth Sunday of every month. Thank you for tuning in, everybody, this morning and for joining me. I hope that you'll be able to join me again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. and back at 8.30 a.m. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. It'll be okay 
Tittle. Tittle.